Good morning, good morning, good morning, beautiful people. As always, this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. As always, God is good, and He is good all the time. Yo, we about to do a video on a young lady. First, foremost, thank you, Heavenly Father. Second, free Miss Brittany Griner. Okay, free her, free her. So, for a moment, we just gonna listen to a little jam real quick. All right, hold on. Back to it, I just had to have a, a Afro beat moment because for years I've been trying to put people onto motherfucking Afro beats since I heard about it. But support your local black, you feel me? Support the scam folk. But let's get into this about Bernie Griner. For those who are unaware of the situation currently. Miss Brittany, Miss Brittany Griner is being incarcerated in uh, currently Russia for allegedly having um, hashish cartridges. Now, drugs are what do you say? Illegal in Russia. However, small amounts with some, you know, specifications to the, you know, individual stuff that they allow, but small amounts, for the most part, is decriminalized. However, Brittany Griner is currently sitting inside of a holding facility. I don't even know why I said holding facility because that makes it sound like it's not what it is, jail, imprisoned, but she's being held in Russian jail because she was found to have some on her person um, in the airport during customs, random, random check, ain't much random about random checks, especially when you're <laughs> scared folk. <laughs> ain't nothing random. Especially when you're, sur you're surrounded by people who ain't scared folk. Eh, ain't nothing random. But, um, the thing that gets me about this whole situation, honestly, the whole thing gets to me. I don't understand any of it. See, international law I'm unfamiliar with. However, what I do know, at least this knowledge is based off an assumption, which is backed by ample amount of data and research. But if Brittany Griner was LeBron James or Peyton Manning, it would have been no questions, no if and buts about it. It wouldn't have been no dragging the process out like this. First off, Americans, we have no idea, no idea whatsoever how long this girl has been incarcerated. This grown woman has been incarcerated. No idea. We don't even know what she's been incarcerated for. We were told, and when I say we as in you know, the officials that are supposed to interact with her, I think they call it the consular. But these officials, high officials, got this information from a Russian lawyer who supposedly spoke to her 
and had the information translated by fellow inmates of hers who speak Russian, were her translators. You see how this bias is and this, this weirdness is developing, is building up me. So they supposedly wouldn't talk to her and her only complaint about being imprisoned in this jail is that her bed doesn't fit her because she's like, well, y'all know, over six feet tall. That's her only complaint. That's her only complaint. Okay. Then they go and say she's had access to sauna time. And I think they said an hour of exercise. Nigga, we provide that here in American incarceration camps. Okay. What they call correctional facilities. And for the most part, on average, American correctional facilities suck. Okay. Providing an hour of exercise my nigga, it ain't like our of exercise out here as a free civilian. There's limitations, you know, restrictions. What the food look like? But what's the food looking like? What about the fact that hmm, maybe she doesn't want to be incarcerated? Maybe she wants to be back home with her wife, you know, her family. I mean, what's really what's really going on? I don't get it. And then these mother freaking weirdos. Oh my goodness. Her only complaint is the size of her bed. My nigga, that will not be my only complaint. If I'm incarcerated overseas, I have no idea how, how long I'm going to be sitting here. We have no idea how long she's already been sitting there. You know what I'm saying? Then they're talking about extending her incarceration to May 19th. Nigga, it's March. That's still a whole 60 days. What the freak is you holding somebody for? Then they talking about it's for an investigation. Investigation for what? They charged her for transporting <sighs> cannabis paraphernalia, basically, across into their mother freaking country. Bro, ain't nobody, she ain't smuggling no drugs. That's a personal personal mother honestly we don't even know what she in there for for all we know them the cartridges could have been empty she probably only had like one little vape hit on the thing and they talking on we don't even know she could be in there for anything but they're telling us this is what they have her for but then they hope and then here in america we're like what that doesn't make any sense here in Rochester, New York, in New York, we push in for police reform where in, we even passed to some, you know, police reform laws that says that basically people can't be held for nonviolent offenses in jail. You know what I'm saying? You're adding to the high incarceration rates by holding people indefinitely, especially for little minor crimes that aren't even violent. No one's life is in jeopardy. You know what I'm saying? There's no victim. It's a victimless crime. Excuse me. We raise we raise motherfucking hell here. This young lady is in a foreign country. You know what I'm saying? Then, like I said, we don't even know how long she's been in there. They Russia denied um, what they call consular, which, from my understanding, basically they denied American embassy and you know these top officials, these lawyers from American soil. To go see her, you know, talk to her, see, see what's going on, blah, 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 blah. They denied them access. So Russia is holding mother freaky Brittany Griner hostage. Damn near, like, basically kidnapped her. Okay. On the premise of an investigation for some little cannabis or weed cartridges or hashish oil no one knows but this is what they're saying and her only complaint is that her bed was too small or her bed is too small makes no mother freaking sense free Brittany Griner I mean this me doing this it's nothing going to social media making a post does nothing for her I have hope 
that I had the physical means in this human form to do something for her. Honestly, I don't though. So the most I could do is pray for her and bring some awareness to her situation. I mean, she's being held. And this is a reflection of society. This is a reflection of the United States of America's criminal justice system. This is a reflection of the global criminal justice system. The fact of the matter is, now, hear me out here. Here in America, no one gives a damn about the black woman, okay? People love to talk about these other cultures and their caste systems and their hierarchies and their apartheid and their segregation and they mother freaking act like they blind Stevie Wonder, Ray Charles, however you want to call it. I can't see they own backyard. What's going on in their own backyard? We have segregation here. We have high incarceration rates here. We have police brutality here. We have craziness going on here, right? But at the end of the day, there's a hierarchy. There is the white man. It's the unspoken rules, the white man. Then it's kind of the white woman, but it depends on her ties to white men. She lacked ties to white men. She's almost equal to a black man. There's like some, you know, some little wiggle room there. Then it's the black man. And then under the black man, it's sprinkled everybody else because it's not pure. It's not straight the black woman because then you have to take into consideration that black is still frowned upon. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of my skin color, I don't have a scrotum. I have a pair of ovaries in my body. And with that being said, society doesn't give a damn about ovaries caring individuals. I mean, once upon a time in the United States of America, it was legal for husbands to whoop their wives because they were viewed as equal to their children. This is why people turn blind eyes to domestic violence situations, especially when it's between intimacy with a man and a woman. You see, you see where we're getting here. Nobody gives a damn about the black woman globally. Russia's incarceration rates don't look much different from ours. Ours is just higher than theirs. But theirs are high as well. When you think about these well-off, prestigious, westernized, educated, wealthy countries, our systems tend to look the same. They tend to look the same, all of them, especially the criminal justice system. Look at it. Australia. You can look at just about anywhere in the UK. You'll see. We all have high incarceration rates. Which is crazy. Crime rate has been the same. It's about the same since the 70s. And in fact, even post- the war on drugs, crime has actually been de decreasing if you look at it compared to that. But we got a high incarceration rate. The numbers don't, they don't add up. There's no logic there. But what makes sense is that these niggas are doing a good job of doing what they intended for stuff to happen. You know, they intended it to, do, be, to function as, right? This ain't a new phenomenon. Russia has been known to criminalize racial minorities, just like the United States. Racial bias in the court systems, with the police, all that. Pushing poverty on you know, color people, showing immigrant hate, harassment, all that. Discrimination based on your background, who, who you choose to lay with between your legs, all that. And it's crazy. Because a lot of people, even me, I had the ignorant thought, set, thought mindset. You know, I'm like... Brittany Griner, she's a overseas player. And from what I've constantly been told is that women players on general are 
paid less than male athletes. That's just, it don't matter what arena you look at. Women are just paid less. However, I'm told that women who travel overseas for basketball get paid more than they would if they were to play for the WNBA. So, I thought it was crazy. Thought it was crazy. Because I'm like, well, she got money. She has a means of fighting this, you know, because money brings you a long way. Because if it was LeBron James, this won't be happening. Money. But he has a penis. If that was paid men, it's okay. Money. But he has a penis and white skin. Straight man. She is everything that you can potentially mix up with disenfranchised groups. She's black, she's a woman, and she's queer. She's married to a woman. <laughs> don't nobody give a damn about her. That's what America looks like. And not just America, this is global. This is global. People talk about LGBTQ community, and this is what really gets me is that it's, it be a lot of the black people, the black people, they be coming at fellow black people talking about LGBTQ community as if we mother freaking fit in with them. Nigga, LGBTQ ain't this new race of people, okay? Those that make up the LGBTQ community look like we. So if you don't fight for LGBTQ rights, niggas, you ain't fight for mine because you're saying it's okay to oppress her. Because she gay, she like women, she's a lesbian. Her sexual background ain't identical to mine, which is straight, childbearing, with a man, living my, you know, gender role life that was <laughs> mother freaking predestined for me by man. <laughs> this is what we're saying. Don't nobody give a damn about Brittany Gardner. Free mother freaking Brittany Gardner. Nobody gives a damn about her because at the end of the day, she is everything that no one gives a damn about. She's black woman and she's queer. I mean, if it wasn't for her basketball status, I probably wouldn't even be talking about her right now because it would take literally the goodness of Jesus to cause awareness to be brought to somebody who is so small. It's rare. Things like this happens all the time to people, but we know about it because it's happening to Brittany Griner, who is a very prominent female athlete now. And I hate that female athlete. Like it's some separation because niggas ain't required to mother freaking play up against females to be the greatest. So why does females have to play against dudes to be considered equal to dudes? It's weird, but she's a very prominent athlete right now. So if it wasn't for the status that is associated with her celebrity you know, as an athlete, Brittany Griner, who? Free Brittany Griner. Wake the freak up. And you know why. Ruffles have been taking place. Mother freaking feathers have been ruffled. I've seen where Hillary Clinton called herself tweeting something and, you know, in support of Brittany Griner, something like along the lines of free or something like that. I don't really remember what it said, but. I'm assuming it said like free or something like that. So then I'm like, all right, it's weird. Hillary Clinton just tweeted about it. Like that's going to free her, but what? Okay. But then I started to read consular been did, you know, being denied access to, to interact with her by Russia. I'm like, bro, we won't take this with anybody else. Why the freak y'all just taking like, Oh, they denying us access that, Y'all sitting here talking about y'all ride for Americans. Y'all be ready to go to war for this, that, and the third person. Here's an American being incarcerated over something that is so minute. She came from Arizona, which is a state where marijuana is legal. Like, yes, federally, it is illegal. But you have to realize, just like it applies to the United States, it applies to the, the globe. Majority of the populations around this world are poor. And with that, uneducated, 
Niggas barely know the laws of the land on the land that they live on within their local municipalities. You expect these niggas to know about crossing state lines and country borders and nah, bro. So a lot of ignorance out here. We can't expect so much from this. Um, we keep our people uninformed for these reasons to exploit them. Free Brittany Griner. It's crazy. She didn't commit no violent crime, yet she's being held and detained. And our government is moving slow. Why? Because she's not that rich. She ain't rich like LeBron James. She doesn't have a scrotum and she's gay. Who the freak gives dang about gay people unless they got white skin? That's why I tell niggas all the time. That's why I tell my fellow black folks all the time. Bro, stop summing up us queer black folks and Latinos and racial minorities and with these queer white people, bro. OK, because LGBTQ is not this new race of white people. OK, I don't get the same treatment as a gay white woman or a gay white man. OK, totem pole. I'm all the way down here. Gay white man and woman up here. This is the hierarchies that man has set for Not Jesus. Jesus didn't make me inferior to no man. He didn't put me on this earth right along with nobody else on this earth to be ruled by man. So but man out of greed, profit, hate, want to oppress people, want to make people their slaves to ensure their profits get bigger. Free Britney Griner. At the end of the day, this is wild. Mother freaking wild. But please know that this is a reflection not only of the United States of America's society as a whole, but global. You can look in just about every country and what is happening to Brittany Griner is happening to other people. The masses just don't get publicity like this. It's the same thing when I, I try to tell people with George Floyd with these murders, police murders and stuff. When crooked cops and not even just crooked cops, but crooked lawyers and all these crooked government officials and these file and they do all this weird, wild, corrupt stuff. These ain't no onesie twosies. This is constantly happening. We're just unaware. It's just like how human trafficking, sex, throwing people into sex slaves, sex slavery. This is a prominent thing that's happening right now. To the average person, it don't seem like it's happening because it's not, we don't see it. It's not in our faces. It's not tangible. We can't touch it. We can't smell it. I can't see it. So it can't be, it can't be true. I haven't witnessed it. I haven't experienced it. This is the ignorance of society. Like the Bible says, man is flawed because we take that stuff by what we see. Take a look at things by, at face value. Take a look at things at face value. You see what I'm saying? Free Britney Griner. People need to wake up. Wake the freak up. Contact your Congress and tell them, yo, that is a fellow United States of American citizen over there. Do something about this. Do something about this. I mean, if you Trump can go over here and harass Iranian people and mother freaking blow up the third powerful, you know, and murder the third powerful man in Iran. And I say this because a man ain't powerful to me. The only power that I know to exist and it belongs to Jesus. However, Trump, threw, he blew up the third powerful man in Iran. And over what? And over what? But yet we have a, a citizen, an American citizen being held hostage in Russia as Russia do some nonsense with Ukraine. Stop allowing people to use us as if we're expendable. She's not some pawn in y'all little, y'all little craziness going on over here. Y'all weirdo, stop it. It's weird. We're not expendable. And I'm tired of it. Free Brittany Griner. She's being incarcerated for something that is nonviolent. And she's being held for way too long. Here, that's illegal to hold a person without going before a judge to rule on the legalities of their arrest. Proving prob probable cause and all this. I don't know Russia's law, but here that's what it is. You can't arrest somebody unless 
you physically as a police officer seeing a crime, you know, be committed and the judge has to rule that this arrest is lawful in order for them to stay in there. This is crazy. And if that was on our own soil, we'd be turning tables. I mean, look at January 6th. They done ruled them people terrorists. And now, don't get me wrong. Crazy white people I could do without because a lot of them are racist. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I don't think what they did was terrorists. It wasn't terrorism. Not at all. Not at all. Mm -mm. <laughs> Not at all. What it was, in fact, a revolution. It was people coming forward saying, hey, government, I don't like how you doing things. I don't like how you running this, you know, you forgetting about us hardworking citizens. And people was clowning them for looking a hot mess, free Britney Griner. People was clowning them for looking a hot mess, looking like your, your average redneck, white trash, whatever you want to call them, looking like you're just something that done crawled up out the back of the woods, you know, and was clowning them. But they over, overlooked the fact that majority of the United States look like that. Because you have to take into consideration the big money is usually in the big cities. You know what I'm saying? You got those onesie twosies of rich people that live, you know, kind of got some, you know, some property out there that is in, I'll say probably like rural spots or remote spots. But for the most part, wealthier people tend to live in the city because the city is expensive compared to the rest of the nation. Okay, it's like New York. Over 90% of New York is farmland. Farmland and motherfucking land to hunt on because it's just deer is wild. It's just, it's just wild land. It's not city. And then you got this very, very tiny percentage, less than 10% that is actually city. That includes New York City, Buffalo, Rochester, Yonkers and Syracuse. These are places that more and more racial minorities have flocked to. They have, you know, jobs are job opportunities are more accessible here versus the outer sides and all that wonderful jazz. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you know, this is what America looks like. They look like country bumpkins because majority of those that live in the United States are some country bumpkins. It's not that many people that live in a city, in a city. They usually live in suburbs, you know, towns and villages. And then it just gets very isolated to nothing. It's almost like they live in the hills have eyes, you know, the mountains. <laughs> so it's like, I just, I want better for our people. Free Brittany Griner. Wake the freak up and realize. You want a time to revolt? Here's a time to revolt. This is a prime example. They don't give a damn about us. We are expendable. We are expendable. Look how they do Brittany Grinder. This is what America looks like. Women, gays, racial minorities are at the bottom of the food chain. Immigrants are at the bottom of the food chain. <laughs> Unmarried are at the bottom of the food chain. <laughs> And I'm not laughing because it's funny. I'm laughing because this is very uncomfortable, but I don't know what else to do but laugh because it's just like, it almost seems like there's nothing I could do about it, but I'm doing something about it right now as bringing awareness, bringing awareness to this motherfucking situation because at the end of the day, everybody of us, we all need to know. We all need to know. Free Brittany Griner. What happened on January 6th? Those weren't terrorists. Those are who we need now because they got things started with our motherfucking government. Okay? See, because of January 6th, our brave, <laughs> our brave brothers and sisters that went up in there and was putting their feet up on the tables, <laughs> our brave brothers and sisters said, hey, don't you forget about us. You got some hard working citizens that ain't rich out here struggling every day, you know, living paycheck to paycheck, getting ignored because we're disabled, because we're uneducated, because, you know, we're the minority. That's how they feel. 
The uneducated, poor white people, they feel like they're the minority. Compared to money, we all the minority. <laughs> to be honest. That's just being honest. Free Brittany Griner. Free Brittany Griner. But at the end of the day, those, they weren't terrorists. Those are who we need right now. You know, get the fire up under these niggas' feet because they moving slow, homies. Brothers and sisters, come help us out because they moving slow. They got one of our Americans over there on Russian soil and they just taking like Russia's, we denying you access. As a, nah, go get her. What are you doing? What are you doing? Go get her. What are you doing? Go, go get sister. You know what I'm saying? Get on out of here. Skedaddle with your military because that's what y'all do, right? Y'all like to rescue people. We got our own over there in Russia. Need some rescuing. Nah, we don't do it like that. Only with money involved. Gotcha. She's not enough. Just a gay black girl who plays overseas basketball is expendable. Taking, a, taking her away from her job. This is what it looks like in America. When you get incarcerated, you got a job, you paying rent or mortgage, you sitting up in, incarcerated, they rip you from everything. They rip you from your job. They rip you from your, your life and stability. So now you have no means of making payments. Uh, a lot of people get their stuff repo. People go homeless. They get evicted. Get all that stuff kicked and tossed while they sitting up in jail. Don't even know what the freak is happening. Like, bro, what'd you charge me with? All right, can I, am I free to go until I have to come for trial or something? Like, what the freak? I got to just sit in here. This is what America's systems look like. This is what the American criminal justice system look like. This is what the global criminal justice system look like. Wake the freak up, people. Free Brittany Griner. In a sense, I'm kind of happy that this happened to a more you know, prominent person and not necessarily happy. However, in the sense of like, it goes to show, you know, put the spotlight on them, Jesus. <laughs> show all that error, that error and mess that they've been up here hiding in the dark. Show it, put a spotlight on them, Jesus. And that's what she is because at the end of the day, when it's just us little people, when it's just us poor people, nobody gives a damn. Free Brittany Griner. Nobody gives a damn. Our brave January 6th brothers and sisters, they would have, now nah, y'all better go to Russia and go get homie. What are y'all doing? Go get homie. Go get sister. Go get brother. Go get cousin, uncle, family. Go get skin folk. Brave brothers and sisters. Ain't no terrorism. In the Constitution, the U.S. Constitution, based, it definitely says that we have the right to revolt when we feel that our government is not doing their jobs. So to just throw sedition and all these little, little names onto stuff and then try to paint somebody as a terrorist, it's just a way of, oh, sh 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 ah, don't revolt, don't revolt, just take this, take this dictatorship. And people keep thinking, that America's not a dictatorship. It's not ran by a dictatorship. Yeah, bro. Yeah. We got a facade of freeness, land and liberty and happiness and bullcrap, bullcrap, bullcrap. Ain't no land or nothing. You have that facade until you piss off one of these rich folk. Then you're a terrorist. <laughs> then you're a terrorist. People got labeled a terrorist from, for walking into a government building that is open to the public and putting their feet up on their desks. It's crazy. It's crazy. Look at our history. Look at our history. We've always revolted. That's how the United States of America came to existence. But I want y'all to take the time out, Free Breeding Garner. I believe it's Kent, Ohio. Look up the 1970 protests where college students and a lot of them were teenagers, young teenagers or, you know, late teenagers. The college students that were shot and killed by the National Guard for protesting. They want you where you at. Wake up. Smell the roses. Like the Bible says, watch as well as pray. Lean not to your own understanding. Don't try to make sense of things according to your, your knowledge and your understanding. But in all their ways, 
acknowledge God and he will direct your paths. Trust and believe. Anything you want to know, ask the Heavenly Father. He will expose it to you. Free Brittany Griner. Her situation is a reflection to the U.S. criminal justice system and the global criminal justice system. And my recommendation is to contact your Congress. Get these niggas on board to help our sister. I don't care if you aren't skin folk. We still family because at the end of the day, you cut any of us. We all bleed red. We humans, humankind. And that's, a, that's what it is at the end of the day. And this is our fellow national, you know, this is our national sister. So at the end of the day, get on your Congress and make sure that they do their due diligence and help our sister come back over here with her family. And if they don't want to take kind to your phone calls and your emails and all that wonderful jazz, what's up with a protest? I mean, come on, you got a, you got a bunch of able bodies out here that's willing, that's willing. Trust and believe. But in all that ways, direct, acknowledge God and he'll direct your path. I love y'all. God bless. Peace. Free Brittany Griner. Mm -hmm.